Hello everybody and welcome back to chapter 10 of Lord of the Flies. The shell and the glasses. On the morning after Simon's death, Piggy squint at an approaching figure and recognizes him as Ralph, who now looks as disheveled as the rest of the boys. Without actually mentioning Simon, they slowly come round to the subject by discussing the need for an assembly. Ralph scoffs at the futility of the conch and talks about Simon and what he now realizes was his murder. Piggy sees this admission as negative and unhelpful. He views Simon's death as a product of the fear and that bloody dance eventually dismissing it as an accident which is best put out their best put out of their minds ralph and piggy gradually convinced themselves that they had nothing to do with it sam and eric returned from collecting wood they too deny being present at the feast although they clearly were the camp now sets set up at castle rock is guarded by sentries who challenge roger he says he could still climb up to the rock if he wanted to, at which they show him a simple device to deter unwelcome visitors. There is a lever pushed under the highest rock so that can be dropped on enemies approaching along the narrow strip of land leading to the camp. Roger admires the ingenuity. ingenuity? Sorry, I can't really pronounce that word. I don't really know what it is. Um, of Jack, who is who is regards as a proper proper chief. Jack is apparently going to take them hunting. He is also going to punish Wilfred for some vague and undisclosed misdemeanor. Roger considers the consequences of ungoverned power jack sitting before a semicircle of boys delivers instructions about the forthcoming hunt and the defense of castle rock he proclaims that the beast simon came in disguise the previous night the muted suggestion that they killed simon is emphatically denied by jack the beast might come again so they must leave the head of each kill as a gift to keep in favor with it. The fire has gone out, so Jack plans to visit the other group with Maurice and Roger, keeping to the coastline to avoid the beast. Ralph tries to relight the fire, but the wood is too damp. Together with Piggy, Sam, and Eric, he contemplates method of escape should the signal fire not attract rescuers. Eric considers the prospect of being taken prisoner by the Reds if they cannot get away and suggests that this might be preferable to being captured by Jack and his savages. Ralph tacitly admitting that he was a witness to the murder <clears throat> reflects on Simon's last words about a dead man on the hill. Another attempt is made to light the fire, which yet again proves unsuccessful. Sam and Eric, whether from shock or exhaustion, feel that their efforts are pointless. But Ralph reminds them that the fire is their only hope. However, because it is too dark to collect wood, they leave the fire to be lit the next day. In the shelter, Ralph casts his mind back to the security of home. He imagines, imagines the prospect of rescue and the lure and attraction of the civilized world. He drifts into a nightmare from which Piggy awakes him. Sam and Eric too are troubled and fight together in their sleep. <clears throat> Ralph and Piggy recognize that the strain is affecting all of the boys. Piggy hears a noise. Suddenly his name is called and he believes finally that the beast is real after all and has come for him the beast jack and his hunters 
dives into the shelter and a fight ensues. Ralph pounds viciously into the face of an attacker until his efforts are halted by a knee in the groin, which fells him. When the perpetrators have gone, the boys take stock of their injuries. <clears throat> Ironically, Eric's face is bloody, but, the pride, but he prides himself on the fact that he disabled his attacker by striking him between the legs. Piggy is uninjured, but was fearful for the safety of the conch. The hunters, meanwhile, return to Castle Rock. Not with a conch, but with Piggy's glasses. And here I come to the comment section of this chapter. This chapter describes the aftermath of Simon's murder. The tone is one of the hopelessness and dejection among both the conch group and the savages cast rock. Interestingly, interestingly, both groups, in one way or another, tried to brush the incident aside by childishly framed denials. Is it too far fetched to suggest that the three fold denial by the boys is an allegory for the biblical story of Simon Peter denying his knowledge of Christ on the three occasions before the, con the cock rose? This aside, is it only Ralph who recognized the death of what is murder? The organization of Judge Group is significant. Again, he is placed as a prominent position with the semicircle of boys around him. As on previous occasions, he is reserved and set apart in importance. This contrasts sharply with the assemblies held using the cons, where everybody could speak and like King Arthur Roundtable everyone was an equal value semicircle or horseshoe seems to invite someone or something to fill the opening it creates it was into into such such a void that the hapless simon stumbled on the previous evening there is irony in the misdirected aggression displayed by ralph and eric who it turns out were fighting each other in the darkness could this symbolize the pointlessness of violence used without thought or reason is it useful at this point to reflect on all on what all the boys have experienced over their time on the island fear deprivation discomfort lack of parental care illness intimidation and depression after all these comes the heinous crime of murder the crime of which they are guilty all guilty in in a sense the chapter is entitled the shell and the glasses both of which are symbols the shell could represent democracy the voice of reason or decency decency sorry it is of no use and it itself beyond being a beautiful object its use is in what it represents or symbolizes to the voice the glasses are useful to Piggy, but have a function beyond that for everyone else. They can start the fire. The ability to make fire is something which sets human beings apart from animals. The glasses therefore symbolize fire, but also knowledge, enlightenment, and dominance, dom domination over primitive instincts. It is notable that Piggy perceives the conch as a more value, valuable, holding it literally with respect and affection during the events of the next chapter. So this was chapter 10. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in chapter 11, which is called Castle Rock. We're almost at the end. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.